You don't. You I'm not need those. Paper you don't one. want them stapled. No. You sure? A hundred percent. After you finally got it all done. Yeah. Uh, How come these aren't stapled? <laughs> 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 we'll be right back. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. You ready? Wake <laughs> up. <laughs> so funny. You're it's not like on yet. They didn't say air. go yet. Well, no, the Did go it? is oh. wake up. That's okay. the go. I'm awake. I got Pop here today, and uh, Jason's uh, gone this week anyway. I know. He is traveling around. Yeah, a little up. bit of traveling. So uh, we got scripture for your day. We're going to pray over your day. And uh, where are we going to be at today? I'm going to look here at... Proverbs chapter 18, and I think it's probably a well misunderstood scripture, but let's just talk about no, it. No, we're not going there yet, though. What, what's okay. the verse? It is chapter, eight, uh, chapter 18 of uh, Proverbs verse uh, 19. 19? Uh, 20, 20, verse 20. Go to verse 20. <laughs> I like 20 better. We're going to close now. This show is over. We ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a couple okay. of today's comic Wednesday. Uh, someone said, also, Pastor Scott hasn't coughed like that in a long time. I kind of missed his cough. Oh, my goodness. They miss your cough. They miss my cough. My wife and my daughter do not miss my cough. Oh, my. Every my. time I cough, they both just go, it, last night, cough, and they both just stop, and they just stare at me. And I'm like, what? What's that about? And they go, when you're done, we'll talk. I know that's exactly what your mother says to me. Exactly the same. They act like I... Because I cough. I cough on purpose. I move a lot of air. <laughs> you do. I got my cough from you. <laughs> so yes, you did. <laughs> and it's, it stops everything. Oh. Maureen says, please, please, we can't even talk. Finish but I don't coughing. mean to cough. I know. I did. It wasn't Ma my fault. Matthew Mitchell says, have faith because it won't be long until we have more sun and more prayer for rain again. I don't ever pray for rain because I don't like rain. I I've, know. Ne I've never prayed for rain. I've I never said, Lord, let it rain tomorrow. What I like about Arizona is you have to go out and find a cloud. I mean, it, yes, I love it. I mean, I came from northern Wisconsin. We came from northern Wisconsin, rain all the time. Or if it didn't rain, it was snowing. <laughs> <That's> Lord. <laughs> Even when we go back fishing, it's when we now. go fishing, we have oh. to get off the. Uh, it was it was crazy because we were we were going down the Flambo, yeah. and it started pouring. Just, but, and that's fine. You can fish, and then all oh, yeah. of a sudden the lightning hit. I felt like it was like seven feet away. Well, I got you out of the boat. We got up on the dock, and, but then we thought we can't go underneath the trees, so we stayed out on the dock. But the dock is made of metal. <laughs> the dock was made of metal, was and a, lightning struck the tree right beside it. It wasn't Split good. Split part of the tree uh -huh. off. Oh, my uh, Kim Day Nee Fuller says, uh, Misaga is pronounced Misaga. Thank you. Misaga is very important, uh, apparently. I guess so. Anyway, read our scripture for the day. Amen. Okay, here we are. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 20. And we're talking about 20. what you say. Okay. Your words have so much power. That is the key to life. And words start from a thought. Right. But whatever you abundantly think, eventually the abundance of the heart speaks. And when it speaks, it speaks what you've been thinking. And that can either produce life or death. Life That's or what the Bible death. said. The power of life and death is in the tongue. This one is... Uh, verse 20, and it says, A man's stomach shall be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth. Now, a lot of people want to turn that into uh, what you eat, but that's not what it's talking it made about. Me hungry. It's the sound it. or the words that come out of your mouth are going to produce your prosperity or it's going to produce your poverty. Either way. Either one of them. And it goes on, and, and from the produce of his lips... He shall be filled. In other words, you'll end up with too much. Actually, when you study this from the uh, ancient Hebrew, it really means that your income or your revenue, will, he'll be satisfied with his income and his revenue. And the word filled in the second part means an overflow of too much and plenty. So the more you speak prosperity, right. health, wealth, joy, peace, and highly favored, the more you are going to experience the goodness of God. And prosperity. Because your, your words life. go forth and they create. So well, either do, your words are fear or faith. You, yes. And, you, and if you just think about it, the Bible talks about, and God said, let there be. So there was power in his words that created everything that is from what was not seen. Right. And so we're in that same position now where God has empowered our words. Jesus gave us dominion and authority on this earth. Right. So when we speak words, the frequency, the vibration communicates with every cell in our body. This is where we're going. This is what we're expecting. And expectation is faith, and you're going to get 
pretty much what you say. What you say. I was counting yesterday, and uh, I said hi to seven different people, whether it was in a drive-thru or at Ace Hardware. Out of seven, all seven said, okay. You know, how you doing? They're like, I'm okay. Or, I've been better. That was done three yeah. times. Uh, was the confession, the first confession that came out of all of these people's mouths, which is, goes to show you, we wonder why so many people are just doing okay, because they're speaking it. That's exactly they're right. They're saying it. Yes. In my worst, I had a bad day, you know, looked like a bad day last week, turned out to be a good day, but if you ask me how my day's going, my day is awesome. Fabulous. My day is awesome. great because I'm speaking into the future. What do I want my day to look like? That's exactly right. What do I want my week to look like? What do I want my life? How's life treating you? Oh, it's been better. Bloom, despair, and, and agony, agony on, on me. me. Whoa! Whoa, deep, dark, depression, <laughs> excessive misery. Whoa! Whoa. Anyway, <laughs> people do that, and it's unfortunate, then that's exactly the cloud they right. live in. But if you really understood the absolute power of words, it's fascinating to me that so much of our even English words, they're trying to shorten them, change them, emit letters. Now when we use... The internet, when we use... Uh, <laughs> I don't know where we went. Well, we've, 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 we we're get misspelling the words. We're, we're, thanks is no longer T-H-A-N-K. It's, now it's T-H-X. I love that, though. It's easier. I, I know, but it's taking power away from the words we speak. I believe there's power in words. I love period. saying, whether instead it's, of Y-O-U, I like saying just... Whether it's written word <laughs> or <laughs> whether it's spoken word, there's power in it. Don't mess with my language. T-H-A-N-K. But it's easier. Did you know that the ancient Hebrew and our English letters are so similar? We're the closest to the ancient Hebrew letters. I didn't know that. That's, and did you know that Webster, who decided the meanings of all of our words, got 6,000 of the words in the Webster Dictionary pre-1940 from the ancient Hebrew meanings of the letters. Did you know what LOL means in the ancient Hebrew? Uh, lots of luck. <laughs> Lots of luck, and we just changed them to laugh out loud. Oh, we laugh out loud. Okay, but <laughs> you said laugh see? out loud. <laughs> well, how do I know? I mean, that's what and I'm it's saying. All We're changing. losing the power of words. So, so a friend of mine, their their dog died, and they told their mom, you know, and they texted it to a group text to the family members. Right, right, right. And uh, the mom texted back with the the emoji with the the cries, but it's a, it's a laughing one. Oh, no. But she thought it meant, oh, I'm so sad. Oh, sad. And we're all like, oh, you're laughing. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> it's a change in the words. I am saying. Uh, we we highly it. encourage you, um, try it. And I said that in my sermon. I encourage you to listen to it. Probably one of the, um, one of the most instrumental parts of being highly successful is learning to tame this, right? The Bible even talks about tame this, is, this drives a ship. It's like the rudder. The rudder is real small on a ship, but it can steer a massive uh, ship, whatever direction, so you can steer your life. You may be heading into a storm, but with your words, you can steer right out of the storm. You can steer into God's best. You can steer your relationships. You can steer your finances. You can steer your health. That's right. right? Oh, what, yes. What, what do you speak about oh. your body? What do you speak about your mind? You know, well, I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not talented enough. These are the things that people say, not just out loud, but they say over and over in their head. Oh, yeah. Repeat it. it. They meditate on it. I mean, it's like saying that, oh, I'm sick. I put those words to death, but oh, I'm, I'm, I am sick. Wait a minute. God is I am, and he didn't make you sick. Oh, that's so So the good. worst thing that you could do is say I am sick. Right. So you got to say I am well because the Bible says by his stripes you are healed. So the only way you're going to get well is you have to line your words up with what the Bible says, which has healing power, which can bring health back to your body. Right. So we, want, we don't want to say what we're feeling. We want to say what is the word and the truth. What we want. Of the moment. What you want. Say don't, what you want. Don't say what you, what you got. Say what That's you right. want. There you go. All right. You want That's to pray over the day? Key. Absolutely. Go. Okay. Lord, we just pray in the name of Jesus that somehow the Spirit of God would touch hearts today, that they would just think about a little bit more on the positive side of life to produce a more positive speech and expectation for tomorrow. Let them feel and experience and understand that you create your tomorrows by what you say today. Your words, your attitudes, your thoughts, 
and the words of your mouth are the profit of your future. Lord, let each one understand how it works, how God set the system up, and let them have a great and wonderful blessed day today. In with Jesus' good words. name, amen. You want to watch the clip, uh, you can click right here. Right there? there? No, not over, way over there, Dad. That's way out of the way. Where, where it would up? never. Oh, don't but go, THX. We don't know what that for means. For your help. Oh, that's, thank you. I, that, I got it. <laughs> no, whatever that means. Here. Don't forget to text. Uh, I don't know what to text. It's at, there it is. 81010. And you have to put the at sign in. A-T. Is that like 912? What? Is that like 9? Like yeah, the at. A-T. <laughs> wake up 2021. <laughs> I'm going to miss everybody else. <laughs> I make myself laugh. Anyway, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs>